Hello and welcome to the setup and operation of the Smart Yield Pro Harvest System on the Invisio Pro family of Raven Field computers. When you are finished with this, you should be able to get your Invisio Pro set up and ready for harvesting. As we mentioned in the Smart Yield Pro installation video, we need to make sure we are running at least software version 3.7 on your Invisio Pro. If you don't have at least that version, Smart Yield Pro will not be an option for you in the control interface menu. And on that note, our first stop on the setup trail is to make sure the control interface on the Invisio Pro is set to Smart Yield Pro, as seen here in the video. Our next step is to set our guidance width, which should be equal to the total width of the header on your combine. And this is entered in inches. Moving to the offsets menu, we'll enter in some GPS reference information. First, we need to make sure that implement in front is selected and then enter in the distance of your header to your GPS antenna and include any left or right measurements if the antenna is not centered on your header. Next, we'll get our section set up so that Accu header can be fully effective. You can enter up to 16 header sections. Once you enter in the number of sections, the Invisio Pro will automatically set up that number of equal width sections for you based on the guidance width you provided. Basic machine setup is now complete on your Invisio Pro. Up next is the yield configuration. We'll be going into the yield menu and then harvest settings, as you can see here, and entering in a few bits of information. Machine type is up first, so just select your make and model. If your make and model aren't listed, just select default for the model and vertical if your grain elevator is completely vertical or pitched if it is mounted at an angle. On the next stop, we'll be telling the Invisio Pro what kind of header height switch we're using and get it configured. For a header height switch, just press the header height button and then select your type of height sensor. After that, just follow the on-screen instructions. Before adjusting any moisture settings, you will want to make sure you have the correct sensor type selected. Please refer to the Smart Yield Pro installation manual for more information. You can enable or disable your moisture sensor with a button press. For now, we want to make sure this is set to enabled. Finally, to make sure that the temperature is set correctly, press the temperature sensor button on the harvester configuration menu and then press the set button. Then just enter in the current temperature at the moisture sensor. Next, we need to tell the Invisio Pro what number arrow on the Smart Yield Pro node is pointing towards the front of the machine. This will help adjust the yield while running in difficult terrain. After that is set, we need to calibrate the slope sensor to fine tune the adjustment the node makes for that terrain. To calibrate the slope sensor, just move the machine to level ground, enter the slope sensor menu, and press the zero buttons as seen here. That's it. The next to last part of the basic setup is the yield sensor. To set this up, we enter the harvester tear menu from the harvester configuration screen. Run the machine at maximum operating RPM with the clean grain elevator running empty and then press the start calibration button. The Smart Yield Pro system will automatically calculate the yield measurement. When the calibration is complete, the current darkness should be at or very near 0%. And finally, we need to set the yield delay. This is required to complete the initial setup, but you will most likely need to tune this number later on. This number is a measure of time that it takes the grain to be harvested and pass up through the clean grain elevator. Typically, this number will range from six to 12 seconds. To properly adjust this number during harvesting, just time how long it takes the yield sensor to register anything after the header moves into uncut crop. And, when you reach the end of a swath, time how long the yield sensor stops seeing the grain after the header has left the uncut crop. Average those two timings and enter that number into the yield delay from the harvester configuration. And with that, our basic setup is complete on the Invisio Pro. Check out the rest of our Smart Yield Pro videos to cover installation, optional settings, and running a job. Thanks!